it's a chemistry. <laughs> Ooh, we we hate like, chemistry. Yeah, we all uh, like, okay. well, this guy stinks. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Easy Peasy. I'm your host, David the Baker, and today we're going to be taking a look on into r slash, dang, that's interesting. We got some pretty cool content ahead, so without further ado, let's go. In 1945, a group of Soviet school children presented a U.S. ambassador with a carved U.S. seal as a gesture of friendship. It hung in his office for seven years before discovering it contained a listening device. Oh, no, it was a trick. It was a trap. I love how the guy's just sitting there like, I've been bamboozled, you see? Ukrainian Aliona Kravchenko from Odessa has been growing her hair since she was five years old. She is now 34 years old, and she can boast her hair at 1.8 meters long. Rapunzel, is that you? <gasps> She's beautiful. Rapunzel, let down your hair. I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss. One of the most incredible moments of my life happened almost exactly a year ago when I witnessed this comet with my naked eyes. Here's a photo I captured to try and do the moment justice. Oh, now that really is beautiful. I'm glad you got a picture of it because imagine trying to explain this to someone. You'd be sitting there like, it was like the stars and the galaxy were like cutting through the air and it was crazy. And all the friends are just gonna be like, yeah, sure, buddy. That totally happened. Did you know a man in Washington state found a caterpillar that looks like it has an image of a human face on its back? The internet is pretty sure it's Edgar Allan Poe. What do you mean pretty sure it's Edgar Allan Poe? It, it definitely is. Look at it. This injury at birth left Ray with only the right ear. As she grew, it moved to the top of her head, making her a cute golden unicorn. <gasps> Okay, that has gotta be the rarest condition I've seen so far, and I absolutely love it. Kudos to you, Ray. Ray the doggo, you're amazing. The ISS spotted an exotic type of upside down lightning called a blue jet, zipping up from the thundercloud into the stratosphere. Ah, uh, yes, reverse lightning. This time we strike Zeus. Take that, you unfeeling god. On a flight in the plane, a Saudi prince bought seats for each of his 80 falcons, because that's what a good pet owner does. All right, shout out to this guy. My wife climbed a mountain located over 12 miles from our house yesterday. She jokingly asked me to use my big lens to take her picture when she reached the summit. To both of our surprise, I was actually able to. Honey, I'm over here. Woohoo! <laughs> now that's pretty cool. The precision of nature beats the clumsy attempts of humans every time. Microscopic. Look at a bee stinger versus the point of a needle. Aw oh, man, nature 9,000, humans zero. What a shame. But hey, if you're afraid of shots, just know a bee sting is kind of worse. I mean, it's smaller and it still penetrates. So I mean, hey, maybe shots aren't all that bad. A cyclist's legs after stage of the Tour de France. Oh yeah, all muscly, all veiny. Is this healthy? I, I don't know if it's healthy or not. What I can say is you have to be an absolute monster to do these cycling events because it, it's big. It's seriously challenging. This, this is pretty cool. I got my husband in chroma glasses so he could finally see the colors of his lowrider he built. See, now what if he puts on the glasses and is like, oh man, I've been driving around this. I hate this color. A drawing which took 125 hours and was done entirely in charcoal and graphite pencil. Wait, this is a drawing? Oh my, who, who did this? Who drew this? It's it's so good, it, it looks like a photo. Man, artists are too talented. I, I don't care what anybody says. If you're an artist, you're inhuman, it, it's too good. Artists are just getting too talented, man. This is almost an inhuman level amount of skill. Blood drop pearl necklace. Now that's cool and all, but it definitely looks like you just walked out of a murder mystery. Who designed this? You know what, let me guess. The butler did it, right? In 2011, two Nepali men climbed Mount Everest and then proceeded to paraglide off of the summit. They landed 35 kilometers away. Then they hiked in kayak to the Bay of Bengal, winning the two the National Geographic Adventurers of the Year. Hey, you know what? These guys earned it. These guys are some serious mad lads. Not only did they climb Everest, but then they jumped off Everest. There's gonna be a world record, right? Whale Museum looks like the Whale of Norway. Now that right there, that's some next level design. Koi Hanako, the oldest koi fish ever recorded, born in Japan in 1751 and died in 1977. At the grand old age of 220 26 years old. Aw oh, man, rest in peace. But over 200 years old, that's a good life. Ginger hair convention. Huh, wait, I don't get it. There's not a soul in sight. But um, shh. Haha, <laughs> take that, Ginger's next meme. Cheetahs are naturally nervous animals, so they have support dogs when they have to be captivated. Oh, it's so cute. I just want to snuggle the dog and run away from the cheetah because it's still a cheetah and I would never get that close. But oh, it's so cute. Eric Musambani has never seen an Olympic sized swimming pool before the 2000 Olympics. He recorded the slowest time in 100 meters freestyle history at 1 minute and 52 seconds. However, he won his heat as all other competitors false started. He is now a national hero as the head swimming coach of Equatorial Guinea. Hey, you know what they say, slow 
and Steady wins the race, and in this case, they literally meant it. Cleaned up under a bridge today. I found these quilts out of grocery bags that are handmade. Now, why would anybody throw this away? This is so good. Hey, well, one person's trash is another person's treasure. Cool find. The Iberian Lynx, one of the rarest cats on Earth. Yo, why does this thing look like a soldier? Bro is staring us up and down. It's like, I'll find where you live. I, I mean, um, meow, meow. This floating bed my son built for his new apartment. Whoa, who is your son, Marty McFly? Dude's got a hoverboard for a bed. A page from Teddy Roosevelt's diary. It was the day his mother and wife both died in 1884. February, 1884. The light has gone out of my life. Aw. A while back, someone from r slash autism expressed how it feels for them when they're overstimulated slash having a meltdown. This person decided to draw it out. However creepy the image may seem, I and many others could finally relate to an image. This is how it feels when an autistic person has a meltdown. Oh, that is creepy, but also very telling. Man, my empathy just went way up because if I had to feel like this, I don't know how I'd respond. Tulip season in Netherlands. Oh, it's, it's like making the world into a rainbow. I love this. What can't the Netherlands do? 2000 year old Roman mosaics found near the Euphrates. Oh, now that's some treasure hunter stuff. Imagine like coming across this. I would immediately lose my stuff. <gasps> the lost treasure of the Romans. It's real. Man, forget Outer Banks. I'm here to see that Euphrates banks, if you know what I'm saying. Shot of Mount Fuji from the street in Japan. Whoa. The mountains just towering over everything. But what can I say? It makes for a great view. Never ending fence is complete. Not only is it complete, it's downright mesmerizing. How does this work? A size comparison between the Titanic and a normal modern day cruise ship. Man, here we were thinking the Titanic was impressive. Look at this. Yeah, I guess it's going to take a lot more than an iceberg to crash one of those. The 5,000 metal cases for the Tokyo Olympics were all handmade by a handful of craftsmen in a town with a population of 4,400 in Hokkaido. Now that's true craftsmanship. Kudos to the people who made it. Shizu Kanakuri took the whole slow and steady thing a bit too far. Takes part in the 1912 Stockholm Olympics marathon. Returns to Japan without telling race officials. Gets considered missing by Swedish authorities for 50 years. Gets invited back to complete the marathon after the Swedish find out that he's still alive. And then completes the 1912 marathon in a time of 54 years, 8 months, 6 days, 5 hours, and 32 minutes. Okay, he might not have won the race, but he definitely finished it. And I'll be darned if that's not a world record. Longest race takes 54 years to complete. Thomas Jefferson's 6th grade grandson recreates famous portrait. Aw, oh, now that's cool. You know what they say, like father, like great, 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 great grandson. I mean, the complexion is uncanny. In 1996, a US Army doctor saved the life of a North Vietnamese soldier by amputating his right arm and stopping the gangrene. The doctor kept the bones of the amputated arm and then took it back to the US in 2012. He returned to Vietnam to bring the bones back to the soldier. Aw, oh, I love that. The doctor's probably like, hey buddy, I heard you could use a hand. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Why are you crying? Stop crying. It was a joke. Come on. An artwork showing the dead and alive by Marco Papadic. It only goes to show you that there's beauty in both death and life. Cool artwork. Arnold Schwarzenegger walking through Munich to promote his gym in 1967. The best publicity. Ah, you guys should come check out my gym. Ah. I mean, hey, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger's gym. Uh, who wouldn't go to that? I mean, look at the guy. Although I am surprised people are just walking alongside him instead of pointing and saying, oh gosh, it's the Hulk. Ah, Arnold smash. Over 500,000 trucks are waiting in Louisville, Kentucky for a chip made in China. This is why dealers don't have any on their lots. Wait, so you mean to tell me that a bunch of trucks that are meant to be spread out in America are being held hostage by China? Oh God, they've won. Pistol dueling was a sport at the 1906 and 1908 Olympics. In 1908, the sport involved two men competitors wearing protective equipment for their hands, face, and torso, firing at each other with pistols loaded with wax bullets. Aw, oh, what? Why isn't this still a thing? We've got even better protective gear. And come on, this would instantly become the most entertaining Olympic sport. Gymnastics, track, snowboarding, forget all that stuff. I want to see people shoot each other. Incredible Inca Skull. This Inca Skull underwent trepanation and a gold plate was used as an implant, resulting in clear bone reconstruction and osseo integration, indicating that the patient survived. Peru, over 500 years old. Yo, we thought that modern medicine had surgery down? No, no, these guys were doing it over 500 years ago. Hey doctors, you know, take notes. Although nowadays, if they plated us with gold in our skulls, our hospital bills would really be going up. Hey, you can't pee here. If you do, we're not gonna sue you, we're not gonna fine you. No, we're gonna record it and put it on YouTube, okay? Now, honestly, that might make for some pretty good content. That's right, baby, it's all about that content. <laughs> And with that, everyone, that's going to conclude this episode of r slash darn that's interesting. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below and don't forget to press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified of all of our easy peasy uploads. I'm your host, David the Baker, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. So till then, peace out and three thumbs up. See ya.